What's going on YouTube? Today we have the Cayenne. Long Cayenne. And don't stress it, you know we got it. Before we get into that, if you like the video, always drop a like. Uh, comment if you want to say anything or if you want to drop any suggestions on any further food reviews or spicy food reviews specifically or pepper reviews. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell icon for all post notifications. Thanks for watching, guys. Right, so, cayenne. This pepper, I'm telling you, it grows like wildfire. I have so many of these damn things. It is crazy. Um, but they're really good. They're really good. Uh, let's jump right into this one. I'm actually going to cut this one lengthways so I can kind of show y'all the inside of it, like butterfly it open. Ooh. Right. There's the inside. And of course I showed you a minute ago, but it's very pretty pepper for sure. Smells very floral. You do get a lot of like plant smell from it. Um, it's good. Let's see what we got here. It's dry. It is juicy, but the outer skin is very dry. It's a little bit tougher to chew through. Heat's definitely there. Solid 6 out of 10 on heat. I would say it's actually a little bit hotter than the jalapeno that I had just uh, put out last week. Um, not very sweet. It's got a very mild flavor. Um, it's definitely a throat and a tongue burn. I get both. I get it both ways. Um, I said it smells very subtle. The practicality, this pepper for me now is a little less versatile than most of them that I'm growing. Uh, I do enjoy this pepper and I eat it quite a lot, but I eat it with meats. So if I'm eating a steak, I'll take a bite of it while I'm eating the steak. Or if I'm eating uh, even pizza, I'll take a bite of it, I'll eat a slice of pizza. That's how I enjoy eating this particular pepper because the flavor's not very strong. And I don't love the texture, but I love the heat profile it gives. And it doesn't linger a pepper taste in your mouth. So if I'm eating something and I just want a little heat with it, and I don't want to, <clears throat> excuse me, if I just want a little heat with it, and I don't really want to taste anything other than what I'm eating, it's really a great pepper for that. Um, it's really easy to grow as well. Um, I'll, one of my lower maintenance plants, I'll, I'll say for sure. Um... It's got quite a lot of seeds in it. Growing this pepper was not very difficult either. Uh, it's very hot climate natured. I mean, I have this thing in direct sunlight and I live in South Carolina. It is blisteringly hot out here all the time and no issues whatsoever. It's also not one, it's also had a lot of water. We've had a lot of rain recently and it hasn't really affected it too much as far as getting drowned in water and then getting really hot and blah, blah, blah. It has done very well to be honest uh, let's move up the stalk just a little bit and try one more piece and just see how the heat compares to the tip oh I got seed in there mm -hmm. yeah the heat is definitely growing from the from the tip which is like I said it's a normal thing it's away from the seeds it's gonna be a little cooler on the tip but it is a pretty warm pepper <clears throat> for sure I mean Eating it with meat, it's not so bad. It's just a little, good little heat note. If you're eating this by yourself, if you, I mean, by itself, and you're just chewing on it, you're gonna get a good little smack in the face with, uh, with some spice. Now, another thing that I love these for <clears throat> is making cayenne powder. Dry them out in a dehydrator and get them super, super dry, just crispy to the touch, dry, and blend them up, and you can make a fantastic. Uh, pepper powder out of these it is absolutely amazing especially if you like seasoning making barbecues and things like that you just throw some on there it's a good kick and you're not gonna get like I said you're not gonna get a ton of pepper taste so for people that just want heat but they want something to taste 
well, good, or if they just, or if they don't like pepper flavor, I would say good, but if they just want, if they just don't want it to have a pepper taste, it's a great spice to use to make as well. So if you're gonna, if you're into making spices, I would definitely grow these. Or if you like eating something spicy with a subtle taste with proteins, definitely eat one. But would I advise cutting this pepper up and cooking it in something? No, honestly, I would not. Unless you just butterfly it open to cook in like a stir fry, and then you could take it out. I would do that as well, but I would not cut it up into pieces because it's going to be a weird texture eating softened vegetables or something like that and then have a bit more firm texture to pepper. I don't think it would be that great. Um, <clears throat> thanks for watching, guys. It means an absolute world to me that all y'all are supporting me. Um, yeah, y'all have an absolutely blessed day, man. Y'all know how we do it.